Hi. Welcome to Prime Recap. A young dinosaur gets lost from his family and enlists the help of a human boy to find his way back home. Today we will recap the story of the movie, The Good Dinosaur, from 2015. Millions of years ago, a dinosaur and his companion lived on a farm, where they had to tend the fields and plant crops in order to survive. One day, while Henry is watering the cornfield, he receives beautiful news from Ida and they both get together to celebrate the birth of their first child. Libby is the first to be born and soon proves to be a very smart dinosaur. Buck comes into the world soon after and impresses his parents with his great strength. The couple is anxious to find out who will hatch the last egg, since it is the largest of all. Henry has high expectations, but is surprised when the smallest chick he has ever seen appears. Besides being small and clumsy, Arlo is extremely fearful. From that day on, all the members of the family took over the farm. While Libby and Buck water the cornfield, Arlo is charged with feeding the chickens. He carefully enters the chicken coop and is alarmed to see something moving in the thicket. The young dinosaur is terrified, but is relieved to discover that this was just a chick that got stuck. While trying to help him, Arlo is surprised by the arrival of that chick's mother and runs away in desperation. He was about to fall into the river when he is saved by his father. Henry has just built a stone silo to prevent any creatures from stealing the food. He and his wife put their mark on the construction and the young ones get excited to leave their marks too. However, their parents say that in order to deserve to put their mark on the silo, they need to do something remarkable. Upon hearing this, Arlo feels excited to do something big enough to make himself worthy of making his mark. Months later, Buck manages to clear the entire field by himself and earns the right to leave his mark on the silo. A short time later, Libby does the same. Now Arlo's mark is the only one missing, but the young dinosaur hasn't even learned how to deal with the chickens. Determined to become a true member of that family, Arlo gathers all his courage and enters the chicken coop. However, he is tricked by his brother, who pretends to have been attacked by the birds to scare him. Buck claims that Arlo is a coward, and the little guy leaves disappointed. During the night, in, in an attempt to motivate his son, Henry invites him for a walk. While walking on a lawn, an insect lands on Arlo's nose and he is very frightened, until his father approaches and blows the animal away. At that instant, the creature begins to glow, and Henry says that sometimes you have to go beyond fear to see the beauty that is on the other side. Then father and son start running through the field and are accompanied by the glow of thousands of fireflies. The next day, Arlo gets another chance to make his mark. The silo that Henry has built is constantly being invaded. If it continues like this, the family will not have enough food to get through the winter. Therefore, Arlo's task is to build a trap to catch the creature, and when it appears, the young dinosaur must eliminate it. Once he has done this, he will be able to put his mark on the silo. Determined to fulfill his mission, the dinosaur stands guard all day and suddenly realizes that his trap has been sprung. Arlo approaches and spots a desperate human child trying to escape. However, instead of eliminating it, the animal decides to cut the rope and free the creature. Spot then approaches the dinosaur with curiosity, but Arlo starts screaming and the boy runs away scared. Henry appears just in time and sees that the creature has managed to escape. Furious, he orders his son to finish his task and they both begin to follow the tracks. Just then, it begins to rain, and yet Henry decides to leave the farm to chase Spot. Arlo tries to convince him that this is a bad idea, but his father is blind with hatred. The dinosaur is afraid of getting lost, however. Henry says that as long as he can see the river, he will make it home. A strong storm begins to form and the dinosaur insists on continuing his hunt. However, seeing his son paralyzed with fear of the lightning, he decides to return home. Arlo injures his foot and his father helps him to walk. Suddenly, the river begins to rise and a strong current of water approaches. Henry uses his long neck to throw his son onto the rock above, but he can't climb it. That day, the three chicks lost their father and Ida had to work twice as hard to ensure her family's survival. Determined to help his mother, Arlo promises that he will do his best at the harvest. He is putting away the corn in the silo when he finds Spot stealing the food. At that moment, the dinosaur becomes furious and runs after the boy. Arlo blames him for his father's death and as he catches the creature, they both fall into the river. While trying not to drown, the young dinosaur cries out for his mother, but ends up being swept away by the current and collapses after hitting his head on a rock. When he wakes up, Arlo finds himself on the banks of the river and realizes that he is lost. With great difficulty, he manages to scale the rock and climbs the mountain to try to locate himself. His plan is to act on his father's words and follow the river in hopes of finding his home. However, on the way, the dinosaur gets hungry and spots a tree full of small fruits. However, the branch is too high and he cannot reach it. Arlo then falls and his paw gets caught between two rocks. He tries to move the rocks to free himself, but is not strong enough. 
For several hours, the dinosaur tries to get out of there, until all his energy runs out and he gives up the fight. Arlo spends the entire night trapped in that place, but when dawn breaks, he manages to free himself and realizes that Spot is the one who helped him. After walking for a few hours, the dinosaur is surprised by the arrival of rain and uses some branches to set up a small shelter. He is sleeping when he hears Spot approaching with a lizard in his mouth. The boy wants the dinosaur to eat the animal, but the creature runs away. Minutes later, the boy catches a giant insect, but Arlo refuses to eat the thing. Finally, Spot brings some fruit to the dinosaur, and he immediately devours it. The little guy then guides his new friend to a tree full of fruit and uses the animal's body as a bridge to get to the other side of the mountain. Arlo then manages to get across, but Spot does not allow him to approach the tree. Not understanding why, Arlo ignores him, and just as he is about to feed, a poisonous snake falls on his head. The animal was about to eliminate the dinosaur, but Spot shows up to defend him. From this episode on, the two join forces on a journey to the White Mountain, where Arlo's family is. On the way, they find some burrows in the ground and Spot starts blowing holes to get the moles that were inside to come out. Arlo decides to do the same, but blows so hard that all the animals are driven out of their burrows at once. They then attack the dinosaur, who manages to escape in time. However, when the youngster least expects it, one of those creatures approaches and bites his paw, causing him to fall into the water. Seeing that his friend is about to drown, Spot jumps into the lake and begins to teach him how to swim. A few hours later, they find some fallen fruit on the ground and, after eating it, discover that the food causes hallucinations. That night, the pair walk through a lawn full of fireflies and Spot is excited to see those glowing insects for the first time. Just then, Arlo remembers Henry and reveals that he misses his family very much. The dinosaur tells his new friend that he misses them all very much, especially his father, who died in a tragic accident. Then Spot reveals that he also had a family, until his mother and father eventually died and he was left alone. This tragic event ended up further uniting the two friends, who identified with each other's pain. They continue their journey until they are caught in a great storm. Spot wants to keep walking, but when he sees the thunder, Arlo remembers the day he lost his father and runs in desperation to find shelter. When the storm comes to an end, Spot goes to wake him up and the dinosaur realizes that the entire forest has been destroyed. Arlo no longer knows how to return to the riverbank, which means he will not be able to find his way home. The young dinosaur is almost losing hope when a small group of pterodactyls appear and he decides to scream for help. Thunderclap and his companions claim that they are there to rescue injured animals, and Arlo takes the opportunity to ask the way to the White Mountain. The creature claims to know a shortcut there, but first asks the dinosaur to help them free an animal that is trapped between the rocks. The dinosaur then helps to rescue him, only to discover that the real intention of those demented ones was to devour the poor rodent. Terrified, Arlo tries to sneak out, but is cornered and Spot begins to be chased. The pair must flee to avoid being devoured, and Arlo runs towards a Brachiosaurus he meets on the way to ask for help. However, as he gets closer, he discovers that those were two Tyrannosaurs, who run towards him and get rid of the Pterodactyls. Ramsey and Nash are two brothers who sympathize with the young ones and decide to help them get home. However, soon after, Butch, the older brother, shows up and says that he will not be anyone's nanny. The trio is looking for their herd and Arlo offers to help. He claims that Spot can sniff out the animals and, in return, the Tyrannosaurs should help them find their way home. After a few hours of walking, the little guy manages to find the herd and Butch soon realizes that there are thieves around. The group then slowly approaches and the T-Rex asks the two to walk hidden to the rock and starts shouting to attract them. As he does so, three Velociraptors quickly approach and Bubba is about to devour them when he is attacked by Butch. During the battle, the herd starts to run and Arlo has to hide behind a rock to avoid being trampled. Just then, he sees Butch being knocked down by Lurleen and Purvis and decides to act. After attacking the Velociraptors, the little guy's life is threatened, but T-Rex manages to get rid of his enemies. Now they must move the herd to safety. During the night, the group stops to rest, and while warming themselves in front of the fire, Arlo listens to the frightening stories that each of the three brothers has lived through. The little guy then says that he admires them for not being afraid, but Butch says that every time his life was at risk he was afraid. According to him, it is impossible to get rid of fear, the important thing is to know how to live with it. The next morning, Arlo helps guide the cattle until he sees the White Mountain. He then says goodbye to the Tyrannosaurs and goes on his way with Spot. Together, they take a long journey and get closer and closer to their home. The pair is very close to the White Mountain when they hear a call and Spot answers it. As he looks to the horizon, the boy spots another creature of his kind and is tempted to go to it, but Arlo pulls him back and says that they need to go home. While walking, 
They are caught in a new storm and realize that something is approaching above the clouds. It doesn't take long before they discover that those are the pterodactyls that tried to devour them a few days earlier, and this time one of them manages to capture Spot. In an attempt to save his friend, Arlo falls off a cliff and gets caught in a tangle of vines. The young dinosaur struggles to get free, but ends up dropping a rock on his head and faints. When he wakes up, he is confronted by his dead father, who appears to save him. After freeing his son, Henry continues walking and Arlo is extremely happy to see him. They are walking toward the mountain when the young dinosaur remembers that Spot has been captured and says he needs to help him. But no matter how much he yells, Henry doesn't listen. As Arlo looks at the ground, he notices that his father is not leaving any footprints wherever he goes, and soon realizes that he is not there. In fact, it is all just a vision. Even though he knows that is not his father, the young dinosaur says that he must go back to rescue Spot because the boy has no one but him. After all they have been through together in the past few days, Arlo realizes that he has come to love the boy and reveals that he already considers him a member of his family. At that moment, Henry looks at his son and says he is proud of him. Before he disappears, the dinosaur advises Arlo to follow his heart and go rescue his friend. Immediately, Arlo wakes up and uses all his strength to free himself. He is determined to save Spot at any cost, and as he runs, he begins to call out to him in hopes of getting some answer. While trying to find him, the dinosaur must dodge countless lightning bolts that fall right next to him. Despite his fear, giving up is not an option for him. Hearing his friend's cries for help, Arlo bravely runs towards him and finds the five pterodactyls trying to devour him. In its first attack, Arlo manages to get rid of two predators by pushing them into the river. Then two other monsters try to pull him away while Thunderclap struggles to grab Spot, who tries to protect himself inside a tree trunk. Suddenly, the river begins to rise, and Arlo already knows what's coming next. So he quickly manages to get rid of the two creatures who were trying to capture him, and runs towards his friend. The dinosaur is so enraged to see Spot in danger that, for the first time in his life, he can let out a terrifying roar. Startled, Thunderclap looks around to find out what that was and the boy takes the opportunity to attack him, tearing off a piece of his wing. Recognizing his defeat, the demented ones tries to run away, but Arlo hits him with a tree branch and knocks him out. The problem now is the avalanche that is approaching. Spot is still inside the log and will soon be hit, so the dinosaur jumps in front of him and catches up with him seconds before they are washed away. There is a waterfall a few meters away, and Arlo realizes that the boy is very weak. Therefore, he must reach it before the boy suffers a fatal fall. As soon as they meet, the two fall from a gigantic height, but Arlo manages to survive and carries Spot to the shore. The boy is unconscious, but when his friend blows his face, he breathes again. They are both very relieved to have survived all that. They walk for several more hours until they finally reach their final destination. At this moment, the pair hears, once again, the call of a human and realizes that he is accompanied by his family. Spot then walks over to them, and Arlo follows. Smelling these creatures, the boy notices that there is something familiar. That smell is very similar to the smell of his parents. Soon after, a woman approaches and touches his face. At this moment, the boy remembers his mother. Finally, two children approach him, and as he looks at this scene, Arlo remembers his siblings. He realizes how happy Spot is with those people and comes to the conclusion that it is not fair to want to separate him from other beings of his kind. The boy says goodbye to that family and returns to his friend, so that they can go home together. But Arlo, heartbroken, decides to leave him behind. He puts his best friend next to that family and makes a circle around them. Immediately, Spot understands what the dinosaur means, but still insists on accompanying him, because after all they have lived through together, the boy doesn't want to part with him. However, he realizes that this is the right thing to do and goes to say goodbye to his friend. They both cry as they realize that they are seeing each other for the last time but they feel at peace because they know they are doing the right thing. From now on, each of them is reunited with his family. After seeing his best friend leaving, Arlo finishes his journey and returns home. The young dinosaur is greeted with great joy by his mother and siblings. Finally, after overcoming all his fears, Arlo is granted the right to place his mark alongside the rest of his family and feels very proud of his entire journey. So what did you think of this movie? Leave it in the comments below. And if you liked the video, Please like and subscribe for more movie recaps. See you next time.